this isn't going to be one of those videos where the sexy girl sits on her bed and talks about packing tips and talks about travel. The top 20 travel tips give you some sort of tip. My best tips for packing for travel. Tricks, I know what to pack, tips, what I need, and hacks. Some of my top travel life hacks. What to keep me comfortable, how to survive a long haul flight and a long haul flight. And a lot of those are long haul flights. Show you what I like to take on my long haul flight. In life, there are those of us who are talkers, travel, 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 travel. and those of us who are doers. Chicken, blank, it's a rice gift shop. I'm a doer, and today we are doing a long haul flight. So let's think about some practical tips for long haul flights. Because today we are going from Brisbane, Australia to Shenzhen, China. Now, of course, it all begins right here with how you pack your gear. Now, I'm not going to talk in depth about exactly how to pack your gear. Just one tip though. I bring a large plastic bag, this thing, for dirty laundry. It separates the clean from the dirty. Personal items that you may use at some point during the day, keep those on you. Stick them in your carry-on luggage, whatever. And of course, the most important stuff, like passport and wallet, um, you should keep that with you at all times. If it's not on your body, it should be in your carry-on. Uh, one of these uh, belt bag things is pretty handy. No liquids on the plane, of course. That'll have to be tipped out or drunk by the time we get to the airport. Okay, lithium-ion batteries. What the hell is this, you might ask? Well, this is a bunch of plastic bags. They're just Ziploc bags. And we've got Ziploc bags inside of Ziploc bags. You can actually buy the little plastic bags that are actually designed specifically for this. These are just like sandwich bags from the supermarket. And um, what these do is these protect the uh, lithium ion batteries. So these are a couple of drone batteries. The airlines do not want you putting lithium ion batteries in your checked luggage. They want them protected like this and in your carry-on luggage. So um, any like major batteries, so GoPro batteries, cell phone batteries, laptop batteries, drone batteries, um, put them in a, you know bags like this and in your carry-on luggage. Okay, before you check into the airport, make sure you know what your baggage restrictions are, i.e. how heavy can your bag be? Usually at the here at the airport, they will have weigh stations and sometimes a repacking area to allow you to repack your bag if need be. Did you ever wonder about where I get my hat from? My kangaroo hat. Well, here's a gift shop here at Brisbane Airport. It's pretty much the same. Consider very carefully if you really need all this crap here on duty free. Do you really need it? Once you get through customs, don't take forever and ever and ever to get to your gate. Sometimes that can be a long way away. I'm not even kidding, eh? Some airports, you, you'll have to walk like a kilometer to get to your gate. Don't take forever to get there. That's us, HU412 Hainan Airlines to Shenzhen at 1.20 p.m. Boarding soon. Please have your own boarding pass and passport ready for inspection. On behalf of Hainan Airlines... So, your business class, your first class? Then congratulations, you get on first. Otherwise, f***ing well, wait your turn. <laughs> you know, Mythbusters actually did this thing where they tested, like, what's the fastest way to get passengers on a plane? And it's actually not the way that they do it. The way they do it is, you know, you get everyone in the business class first, and then the back of the plane next, and then the front of the plane after that. Thank you. Fat and overweight has very few advantages in life, but here's an occasional one. 
I got myself a free exit row. <laughs> Nobody paid for this exit row right by the emergency exit. They need somebody to do it. They figure a big person, probably comfortable. Free upgrade, pretty much. Of course, that means Coco stuck by herself way back there. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's just talk a little bit about toilets on planes and not just about how tiny they are About how literally you, you can't do a damn thing in here Microscopic little microclimate when you go in here and you like book your ticket You'll usually get to have a choice of uh, what seat you want and you know, usually what people will, will, will make this decision based on am I at the front of the plane or the back of the plane? But one thing you need to consider is your proximity to the toilet. If you are close to the toilet, like I am on this flight, I've been bumped up to the exit row. Kind of a little freebie there. You are going to have people constantly back and forward, back and forward, back and forward all the time through the flight. One more thing to consider too is the timing of the usage of the toilets. So there's going to be like a meal and you know Probably half an hour after the meal, people are going to want to go to the toilet. Uh, and then sometimes on a flight, you know, they'll dim the lights and everything and everyone will go to sleep. And so, you know, then they're going to wake everybody up, you know, for landing and stuff. And they'll give you more food and drinks and stuff like that. Again, people are going to want to go to the toilet. So when those times come where things are going to happen, that's when you want to beat everybody. Because if you want to go to the toilet, you don't want to be waiting for everyone else to go to the toilet. Any moment now, the seatbelt sign is going to go off and everybody is going to go rise up. There it goes. Let the race begin. So, you know, you really don't need to be in a huge... You really don't need to be in a huge hurry to get off the plane because you still get your baggage from baggage plane. And you've got to get through customs and all that takes forever and ever and ever. So everyone just like stands up and they're like in such a hurry. Alright. Baggage carousel. Over there is immigration. That's where here in China you're called a foreigner. Over there is customs. Let's finish up the video now. This has been going on pretty long now. Pretty long video. Probably the last thing to say would be to make sure you uh, declare if you're required to declare. I mean, uh, we're in China right now and it's okay. We're in China right now, they're pretty lax, but like New Zealand and Australia are real tough biosecurity rules, like when it comes to fruit and vegetables, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you declare. See you in the next video.